Hello, and this is Fiend Park Script, and today we are here at Alton Towers to look around the gardens and grounds again. Uh, we were only here last week, actually, but we had such a good time, we're going to come down again. As you can see behind me, you can actually see CBeebies Land, the photo studio, and the dark ride section for Get Set Go here. We're actually in the um, little outdoor seating area next to Corner Coffee down Tower Street. Fiend Park Bear is here. Hi. And, uh, yeah, first we're going to start off looking around Mutiny Bay and Wicker Man before going down Haunted Hollow out into the garden. So I'll see you down there. We're outside the entrance here at Wicker Man. So good just to see it again. Uh, saving it's not going round, but we haven't got long. Two weeks today in the park, so uh, should be opening again. When it's normally that, when you have screens in there with flames on lighting and the mist, obviously, you can really let's look at the structure a bit better there. That's a fantastic part of the ride there. Just uh, you in there, right into the Wicker Man structure, because it passes through the structure three times, up there and down there. So here, just opposite Wicker Man and next to the game stalls here, I found another one of the Coca-Cola Freestyle uh, machines. Last week I showed you the one down on Tower Street and one up that way. There's one here in Mutiny Bay here which dare to mix different Coke Freestyle. I've only tried this once, it was only for part last year you brought them in, but I tried them in Florida when I went out there a couple of years ago at Universal. It's a brilliant system and this is one of the points that will be available here at Alton Towers as they integrate it here in Legoland. We'll also be integrating it this year. Fort Park already have it, but we've still got to wait for um, Chesington to add. But if you can see in, you can actually see the machines in there. So this is going to be the new booth to get these. It says mix. There might be a map at the back there as well showing where you can get them. But it's saying about Coca-Cola Freestyle, 100 flavours, infinite combinations. Also the instructions of how to do it there. But you've got to purchase them down on Tower Street. There's a little stall there. You can come to any of these things. It's got like a chip on the bottom that recognises you. And you can have unlimited drinks all day. The welcome in is uh, still showing. It's basically like a pub here at Alton Towers. Different platform here at Battle Galleons. I filmed all the platforms over here. I'll film that one in a minute. But look at the Battle Galleons. a fantastic water ride. I don't like going on it because you get absolutely soaked. Just a look at it when it's uh, shut here. It's a fantastically themed ride. And over here you can see the shark piece of theming. Sadly it is off and you can actually see just about make out the motoring or that effect. Entrance there to Battle Galleons out on one of the platforms. This one's all castle themed. It's really nice these platforms where you can shoot the water at the ride vehicles going around there. Not any effects on around there actually. We've been out, you can't get to the queue line, but there's some over there that I've been. Check out the other video uh, where we went down there. It's good to see this one in a different light. Down here in uh, Haunted Hollow, down this theming here. Sadly sound effects are not on. I'm taking this way in, uh, you can see actually an attraction is open. See the cable car up there? Very peaceful, you can't hear anything. None of the rides are going, the cable car system ain't going. None of the sound effects like these gravestones here with the heads on usually tell jokes, they're off. It's quite peaceful just to walk around here and it does feel like part of the gardens even though it is the Haunted Hollow and attraction here. It would be so good if they brought back a scare attraction. I know they've done a live version down here, just like a scare zone with a couple of actors years and years ago. Uh, but uh, good. Uh, hopefully they'll bring something back here. Maybe with Halloween this year, we don't know. Uh, we believe someone did see some attic music testing, but we don't know if we're going to be able to have indoor scare attractions so they could really utilise this path uh, as well because they've got the other path and the lakeside walk as well down there, which where we're going to go after we get up here because this takes us to the prospect tower and the cable car and then we'll walk down that way there if you can probably make out the path walk back up and then we'll go into another way of the gardens usually if you were coming here you walk up that way to get to gloomy wood 
uh, as you can see here on the sign. Dual one-way mine train, Congo Rapids and Pizza Pastel and Toilets are up that way. We're going to take this route where Galactica Nemesis is, but we're not going to be able to see it. It's blocked off around there. It'll take us to the Skyride Station up there and the Prospect Tower. Normally, we will go up this way to get to Galactica Nemesis and the rest of the Forbidden Valley or the Skyride. We're going to follow this way for Skyride to Theme Park entrance. Just here, actually. I'll show you some shots when we get round. Some fantastic views over the whole gardens and also over to the towers in the distance and Swiss Cottage. We'll be going later. It's under the tower there, there's actually this cave which is believed to be called the Bear Cave and one of just went down there when the proper entrance is around there and there's a big dip. So I uh, could have hurt myself, so I'll go down the uh, proper way down those steps there. So that's that hole that I nearly fell down to get into it. The, uh, quite nice actually. I believe actually a bear was in there and a woman did have her arm bitten off one day, that's why it was removed. Come through the entrance here and to back that up there's still a hinge where probably the door would be here. The hinge is still there, a lot rustier than what it would have been back in the day, but it's still there. Came from over there at the Prospect Tower, down the little river walk. This is usually the part of the gardens I've basically walked down if the cable car's shut. I've done it a couple of times, or the rest of it, down that way. Well, I was up there. We're going round, um, back to where we were at the start of Pontiac Hollow before wrapping around a better entrance into the rest of the gardens. But we'll wrap up that way again anyway, because there's a fountain through there we want to see. It's just a house here, we believe it's offices because we did look in, there's a couple of computer monitors in there. Going out that way, around the main lake, and uh, up into the better entrance, which is like the proper entrance into the garden. And I think it'll be a good dollhouse. This sign here needs a bit updating, all the others over at Exet to have had it removed, and instead of Cloud Cuckoo Land being said, it's, well, uh, not Dave Williams, but against the granny, but here we've got Exet to Dot Forest in Cloud Cuckoo Land. Shame it's sad, but it really got old and didn't feel like it was in the good old days back in 2012, 2013 when you had everything opening with China and the Chocolate Factory Ice Age. It's completely different, so we're going to head this way. Here now at Stonehenge, which doesn't resemble anything like Stonehenge, it's just a rock formation down here in the gardens, next to the river, which is just over there. Right next to this fountain here, not on today, it was on the other way, check out the video to see it on, but that's on at the back there. So you actually see the cable car, you do get some great views from the Skyride, which is the cable car transportation system here. This is between Forbidden Valley, which is that way, and the Tower Street station. You've got three stations for that, you've got Tower Street, Forbidden Valley, and uh, the Towers, or it used to be called the Claire Cooper Land Station, out that way. Probably just see the wire. It's over that way, the Tower Station is renamed for this year. Footpath is closed there, but uh, it's the garden time. We're going to try and get down to the colourful building down there, which is the Pagoda Fountain. We've got to walk down all of that, of the ramps up there, just down that way. So, uh, see you when we're down there. Down here by the Pagoda Fountain, you recently restored, it's fantastic down here, at the bottom of the valley. Gradually making our way up there to the Swiss Cottage, which is definitely one of the best things to see here in the gardens. See the towers poking through the trees, we're up here near the arches up here, and we're going to walk down to that cave down there. We're going to walk up here through the rock garden, but to get there, and get up to the Swiss cottage, we're going to have to walk up those stairs in the distance, up there. Bit tricky down here in the rock garden now, I didn't find this, and there's these stepping stones, so be careful, we're literally right in the fountain here, up there, and it goes right the way down into the canal down the bottom. Very nice around here. This is the rock garden, it's just a nice pathway. Uh, we're going to go back down across the little canal, and upstairs the other side. 
in the gardens, about to cross a bridge here, you probably see at the background, the monument is at the top there, about to walk across the bridge and up a long hill uh, up to the Swiss cottage, which is the final part of the gardens, but that's not the end of the video, we'll go past the towers, have a look at Exet to see BB Spinball Wizard, I'll show you some shots around here, this uh, really old bridge. Now we're heading to the final part of the gardens, which is the Swiss cottage. You probably see the rock garden over there, conservatory, which is right the way up here. We've got to walk across this massive staircase, and then there's a hill just to get up there. It's a one way way up there. If Dark Forest is open, there's actually another way, but that's shut at the moment. So we'll take it up there and show you some fantastic shots over the gardens. Platform near the Swiss cottage here, some lovely views over the walk we've done and the whole gardens. Pathway here, we'll actually take you to Dark Forest where you can find Rita and 13 up there and we're right next to the Swiss Cottage. We're at the Swiss Cottage, probably the highlight of the towers. I've pathway around the back with these fences. I don't know what is around there but fantastic building but it's not just the building that's fantastic here it's the views over the whole of the gardens that you do get which I'll show you around the corner. Some of the stunning views on like the, the, the porch outside Swiss Cottage, you can actually see right the way over the Prospect Tower where we were earlier, the other side of the valley. It is in a valley basically, the gardens, right down to the bandstand, down that pathway there, which is shut off, uh, but then also to the cable car just for the trees here. Also, the fantastic building is the Swiss Cottage. I believe it was a restaurant uh, before Two Swords took it over, uh, and then it had it's just been sitting dormant. And I don't know what these are here blocking off. Uh, these look like they've been here for a while, not temporary banners. I think because I don't think you're going to be able to go down that pathway there. It's fantastic just to see the gardens and what these gardens days it's open. Even though the rides aren't open, you have a look at the rides, but also like appreciate the real heart of Alton Towers, which is the gardens here, which started it all really with the towers. And these were built, and then the theme park has just evolved around it, having stuff such as Nemesis, Wicker Man, Smiler, all around here. Another sign here, and they still haven't updated it with Cloud Cuckoo Land still being on there. We know part of it is still here, but it's now part of the Towers area, as the rest of the area has been refamed to David Williams World as we make our way up past the Towers. Looking down to the Towers here, or the area that is the Towers up to Dark Forest there, obviously closed off. You can just make out the entrance to Hex there. So soon we'll be back in the theme parks riding the rides. It's hopefully two weeks today, uh, Saturday on July the 4th, they're planning to open them. So hopefully we can get back to the parks in two weeks time when they do open, but it's all on government approval, of course. The bits of the towers with these black tower windows here are for the scare mazes. Subspecies is usually here, the shipping container is built over there, while Terror of the Towers is at the top there. We don't know, still don't know about Scarefest. Hopefully it can still go ahead. See, right the way over there to the Mutiny Bay Courtyard. Looks fantastic, it really blends in well that side, like the castle looking side of it. And it's also a really well themed area. That was here before when the area was Mary England. Also see down two towers through there, fantastic entrance. Probably the best theme park entrance here in the UK. A lot better than Chesington Fort Park and Legoland, it's fantastic. Here is usually where the shipping containers are located for subspecies and the exit to skin snatchers and some of the mazes are up there. The tower's this fantastic building. So here actually with these fences, actually the queue line for the Altonville Mine Tours just outside of X sector here. It's uh, obviously closed, all this maze ain't up operating, but Scarefest in general we don't know do we really? If it's going to happen or is it going to have changes? I have my idea of maybe converting the Haunted Hollow into an attraction, an outdoor attraction might work. And maybe do a maze around the courtyard and the outdoor one might work uh, instead of being in the combined space but we still really don't know and even converting this path you could easily do something and convert it to a free maze still sad to feel that this ain't going to be opening this year and it's still saying it's going to be opening it'll be opening later in the year the poster for Gangster Granny, it looked fantastic but we know we aren't going to be getting it this year on the fantastic pathway here, all the posters and in the dungeons as well, I discussed that in my last video, are they going to be going ahead because we do not know what the changes are going to be to these dungeon attractions. Just here the other side of the lake here, just giving you a nice look 
at the fantastic towers building but it's weird to see it like this with no rides going down it's a lot quieter a lot more peaceful we've got some of the music on around some of the areas of the park but it's so good and it's so good to hear that hopefully in two weeks time on the 4th of July we'll be able to come back into the parks get on the rides again Chesington are now open as well they've got the zoo open but no rides uh, White Castle was also open but on the 4th of July all the rides will be back open and hopefully we can get on some coasters again fantastic building though just a look up there to the entrance, fantastic entrance that is Tower Street and through CBeebies. What we're going to do now is we're going to walk up from where we were, which was the path over there, past Swimble, past CBeebies Lane, down the end of Tower Street, back down to Mutiny Bay. We're going to go to the toilet and then I'll go back down Tower Street, wrap up the video and uh, yeah. Ooh, it looks like they've actually left out a sign from the Christmas event, which I used that logo for. Warning thin ice, it's definitely not frozen over, but left that up because the season didn't even start here. Here is the uh, hospitality suite, one of the two venues here. You've got this and one over at the hotels, but this one's probably the nicest place with views over the lake and next to Spinball. The entrance to Spinball Wizard, the Marathon Spinning Coaster, no activity, here is blocked off. And just see two Octonauts there and a bit of CBeebies land. Good coaster, not as good as Dragon's Fury, but just want to get back on the coaster really. Over there is the Wicker Man shop and the Wicker Man station. The vehicle actually passes through that tunnel there because that's the maintenance building. Usually you can go up there to get to Cantania Canyon, see the entrance here. Uh, obviously you can't at the moment as he's shut. But Wicker Man's a good ride and uh, hopefully we can get back on it soon. Well, 4th of July hopefully. Up there you get to Cantania Canyon. Might be able to see the rapids area if we went further up but obviously it's closed. Usually there's a map up here in this little canopy next to the undercover seating area of the burger kitchen. But it says welcome to the Alton Towers of Gardens with the uh, 40 year logo on there. Down here in Mutiny Bay, we've got one of the entrance signs here. Uh, Burger Kitchen there, we can actually see the screens are up. Also here we've got Mutiny Bay, the Mutiny Bay Shop and Shark Bay Reef by Sea Life, the aquarium, which is next door. Just behind the Mutiny Bay sign here, we do have the Mutiny Bay Donut Shack. Oh, it's shut. That's like the Wicker Man mini area. All the buildings around there are Wicker Man themed. Burger Kitchen is also Wicker Man themed. Also, Eastern Express here, which I believe is an outside company who operate that. So, will that be opening? It's a good restaurant in there. Uh, we get kebabs and stuff like that in there. But uh, yeah, we don't know. Will it be opening? Because it is an outside company. They also operate the restaurants up or the little stalls up in Dark Forest. So, yeah. Around here all the shutters are pulled down, usually around here is all like grabbing machines and games. This still actually works, the theming thing in here. Uh, it's, they've left it on, all the music's off around here. Uh, but they've left the power in for this, and click the button, I clicked it earlier, but the door doesn't open to reveal the power. I'm going to press the button here on the, uh, the little skull with this theming. Now who be before me in this mighty courtroom? Well, it was a courtroom till some pesky seagull started pecking Captain Black on the nose and he misfired his cannon straight into me courtroom. Blah! That really did ruffle me feathers. Now, I tell you what else ruffles me feathers. Stowaways like you, who've been seen eating chips and encouraging seagulls to swoop down, poop on our decks and peck at me nuts. I've had to get myself a little nut locker to keep them all safe. And if they had them all, what am I going to eat? Now... I sentence you to take your chips, stand in the middle of the bay, and let the seagulls poop on your decks and nibble your nuts. Let's see how you like it. Now get out of my courtroom! So usually with that, that door opens there, it will spin round and it will be an animatronic power, but that's obviously off. But it's still working. More of Eastern Express here. It does stretch round a bit more, Eastern Express. You've got Pirate's Quest, which is an arcade there. That's all, all, also shut up. As well as some of the game stalls around here. And Marauder's Mayhem up there. Over here we have Marauder's Mayhem, which is the teacup style attraction. Queue line in there. We can see down here the markings that have gone into place with the queues, uh, which is what we're going to see a lot of now uh, for queue lines to do, obviously, social distance. Over here we have the Mutiny Bay Pirate Ships, like a remote control thing, a load of these. Put a pound in and you can pilot it round there. Over here though we've got Heave Ho, which I do like these. We always try every Halloween when we visit all the parks to um, go on the uh, all the rocking tugs, but 
we failed last year because of a 45 minute queue for the one at Legoland when you can get the on the exact same thing straight away everywhere else just more shots of the right area here for Heath Ho also the cable car station's literally in there the Tower Street station that goes up above the courtyard that way down to the Forbidden Valley station more shots there of the queue line for Heath Ho and this little game stand here that blocks you off from entering into the Skyride station which is just through there just over there we actually did queue up for a scare maze at Halloween Darkest Depths it was fantastic it was the family scare maze and we entered into the tavern scene there that was just in containers and marquees that were set out in the courtyard down there more shots of the queue line here from Wanderers Mayhem do you like these teacups you can get right up to the operating booth here and you can actually see down here like servers or computer sound probably the sound because they are done by Bose which is a sound company and it's for Heath Ho Teacup Inn as well so Heath Ho do it and also it's still labelled as teacups which is the old name of the attraction all the sound must be powered from here and this was also the operating booth for this attraction so there you can get a unique shot here of Wicker Man Velt with the effects on uh, of the main statue it's a fantastic theming structure of that ride and it's a fantastic ride and uh, right next to Burger Kitchen here uh, one of the three Burger Kitchen units I believe is this one one up in Cloud Cuckoo Land or the Towers as that area is known now where you can sit in but I believe is the Forbidden Valley one still there I don't know I think it went a couple of years ago but then come back a couple of months later but there's definitely something where that one was in Forbidden Valley So that's it for a day here at Alton Towers to explore their gardens and grounds. It's been fantastic. It's so good that they've opened it up. Uh, it's so good just to walk around again, see the gardens, which I've never really walked around unless the cable car shut, but also to see areas of the park like here down Tower Street, Mutiny Bay, just to see it all again. And yeah, but we haven't got long to go now until the theme parks hopefully will open. It's two weeks today on the 4th of July, pending on government approval. Merlin will be opening. We know Chesington has opened the zoo this weekend. I believe it was a sellout today. And uh, Theme Park Bear, how was your day? It was good. Yeah, it was a very, very good day. Uh, but we'll be returning. I don't think we'll be doing anything next week. We've done this two weeks in a row now, two parks, uh, two times here. But uh, yeah, Chesnut and Zoo's now open. Why cope at the same time around here when the garden's open? But 4th of July, only two weeks until the parks will open, all of them. So hopefully we'll be going when they do reopen. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!